The 5 t technology is, is really uh, super energy efficient and Ericsson is, is part of, of driving the standard at first. So the, the 5G standard is much more energy efficient than any earlier technology. This gives us an opportunity to drive energy efficiency, but also the energy consumption down. The energy consumption in the mobile industry will be definitely impacted by 5G. But how it will impact will depend very much on how we select to build out the 5G networks. There is an opportunity if we utilize all the latest technologies to drive down energy consumption in the networks. On the other hand, if we continue to build as we have done in the past, just adding new equipment on top of existing networks, then the energy will go up. So we are at the breaking point where we can decide to either increase energy consumption or break the energy curve and start working on going down. Mobile technologies will enable other sectors to go green. Um, I think the, the most important one is by making everything smarter. So everything in the world will be connected and communicates uh, together. So we can use every device, everything uh, in a very efficient way. That is what 5G will bring this coming uh, decade. And uh, especially for the subject of today, I think uh, it's also important uh, to match the energy demand and supply with more, renew uh, more renewable energy coming. Um, it's important that we use the right energy at the right time and by uh, 5G we can make it more efficient and smart. Corporate sourcing is not necessarily the holy grail or the silver bullet, but what it does represent is a crucial step towards decarbonisation uh, and corporates can play a key role uh, in meeting carbon neutrality as soon as possible. Energy demand from corporates represents a large percentage of energy demand in Europe and their steps towards sourcing more renewable energy can make a big difference towards decarbonisation. We have a very distributed infrastructure, not only base stations but also technical buildings that are a great opportunity for collaborating with the renewable energy sector. For example, promoting self or distributed generation, energy storage, etc. And finally, with our digital services, because the digitization of the energy sector is essential for the energy transition, for example, with the smart grids or smart meters.